as a person with Parkinson's, your dopamine levels are already low. So in order to boost them up, we need you to be anticipating a reward, which means that goal setting is really important for you. So it's not actually the dopamine levels don't rise um, more significantly when you actually receive a reward or achieve a goal. It's the anticipation of achieving that goal where the dopamine levels rise. And, um, you know, the sensitivity, the amount the dopamine levels rise in your brain is sensitive to that the magnitude of the reward. So a bigger goal, um, anticipation of that bigger goal is important. So an example might be when you're working with a physical therapist or setting your goals for your fitness program, if you're working out on your own, you know, setting a goal of, I want to be able to walk to the mailbox and back. Now that may be a huge goal for you. That may be a large, large goal, but for some of you that might just be, oh yeah, it'd be nice if I could do that, but there's not a little, a lot of internal drive there. Um, as far as something really exciting that gets you um, really anticipating achieving that. So, in, um, and to kind of mirror that and take it to the next level is like if you're setting a goal with your physical therapist, um, maybe your goal is to be able to walk your daughter down the aisle, um, you know, in six months. You are using a walker now, but you want to be able to hold arms with her and walk um, confidently down an entire uh, aisle in front of a bunch of other people, that's a big goal and it's also meaningful to you. So you need to, when you're working out, it's the takeaway is really having big, bigger and biggest goals that you set that are realistic to you, that you feel like are achievable over time and not just setting goals that you think maybe your spouse would want you to be able to do or your doctor wants you to be able to do or something your physical therapist told you you should be able to do. So I know we're guilty of this as physios. Um, we're like, you need to be able to stand on one foot for 10 seconds. And that's a goal that we impose upon you. But when you're working with your therapist um, and setting your goals for your fitness program, you should be the one that's directing those goals and they should be the support team. So um, with my clients, I always ask them, what do you want to achieve by the time we're done working together? Um, in my, my online booster program, the exercise program that I have through Invigorate, we go through an entire process of goal setting and we talk about what you want to achieve and why you want to achieve it, why it's meaningful to you. So your brain can be prepared to do the work to get you to that goal. You're anticipating that reward and that's when the dopamine levels really kick in.